Hard surface modeling is one of the most important fields in the 3D industry. It is mostly used by professional artists since it requires more experience and a fine knowledge of geometry, topology, and different techniques of modeling. It can be found in technical and mechanical designs, in addition to 3D printing, film and TV shows, and most importantly in video game development projects. Maya is among the best software that allow artists to boost their productivity and creativity in hard surface modeling. But sometimes you're gonna need plugins and scripts. So today we're gonna talk about plugin script for Maya and see how it can be useful for 3D modeling and hard surface modeling. First of all, this tool is designed to help speed up the modeling process inside Maya, especially for hard surface modeling. It allows you to create fine details on geometry in just few clicks or just a short period of time depending on the type of the project you are working on. So as you may know, Maya is an industry standard 3D software. It is used by many studios and professional artists for modeling, animation, and rendering. It provides advanced modeling tools. However, creating clean topology with high details can take some time even for professionals. For that reason, you're gonna need plugins such as Plugit, which is very simple to use actually. Not just the way it is designed, but also the way it works. So how does it work? Plugit functions practically using subdivisions. The mesh needs a good subdivision to allow the details to appear properly on the geometry. The tool comes as a window that you can resize or dock anywhere in the Maya's viewport. You can find in that window a few options horizontally and vertically as well. Once you load the polygon primitive, you need to add more subdivisions to it. Vertically, you can find a few options named 1x1, one 2x2, one, two two, etc. This represents the number of faces you select. For example, you select four faces, you choose the plugs from 2x2, two two, and by doing so, the plug will be automatically assigned to the mesh. Now, here comes the good part. This plug is not normal baked. It will actually become a part of that geometry without the need for a topology. This aspect is really helpful for artists because without the plugin, you would run through extrusion, extraction, selecting faces, adding loops, cleaning, and maybe other techniques which takes a lot of time. Once the plug appears on the mesh, you will also be able to edit it on the editing window which pops up directly after assigning the plug. You can tweak the connect value which fixes the topology of the added plug in case there is a problem with it. You can open holes based on the shape of the plug or you can smooth them in case there isn't enough subdivision in the geometry. The tool comes with different types and shapes of plugs that you can assign to the geometry which will be useful during the hard surface modeling process. With just few clicks, you can add these plugs to your model effectively, which is just great. The number of faces you select should match the plug you select. For example, if you select 6 faces and you click on the plug found on 2x2 two two or 2x1, two it won't work. So you should select a plug from 2x2 two two, which represents 6 faces. Like every tool, Plugit has some advantages and some downsides. The tool lets you assign already existing plugs quickly and easily for hard surface models in a short period of time without messing up the geometry. This task is easy to learn, and you don't need time to learn the tool actually, if we are being honest. It runs on all recent versions of Maya, so it is easy to install, and you can afford it easily which is a good thing as well. And the best part is that it can run smoothly on any computer. Plugin doesn't only allow you to add existing plugs, but also to create your own plugs using the instructions for customization. It also works with the viewport script where you can use it to preview nice shaded details on the model. If you are interested in this script, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos similar to this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.